sadly, I've never been to China, and I don't think I'll be going anytime soon, which is a bit of a shame, because I always, always wanted to go to Shanghai, I must admit. Anyway, at least I'm doing a dish that's just down the road, a couple of k's outside Shanghai. Uh, Wuxi. What about my pronunciation? I'm doing all right, aren't I? Show off. Anyway, this is a lovely dish. It's got a little bit of spice, nothing, nothing much that'll get you too excited. And it's, it combines pork berries, which I absolutely adore, and chicken wings, which I'm pretty darn keen on too. And first of all, we make a sauce, well, sort of a glaze, I suppose you'd call it really, rather than a sauce. Two cups of chicken stock, three tablespoons of brown sugar. So this is to go on the ribs, and we'll talk a bit more about the ribs in a second. One cinnamon stick, a couple of good star anise. And when I say good star anise, I've noticed recently that I've been buying them from obscure places like a supermarket, and they haven't been too fresh. So South Melbourne Market, the nut shop there, brilliant. One tablespoon, a little bit more. It's sambalolic. That's sort of the chilli portion. Third of a cup of soy. Measured accurately. And a third of a cup of Chinese wine. Which these days is freely available anywhere. I think you can buy it in your hairdressers. Oh, that was a silly joke, Ian. But I, know, I can remember the old days when you, you just, you know, you really had to go to a very much a specialist Chinese grocer, not just the one in the, in, the, in you know, your, your market or something. You had to go to specialist. Your Chinese wine now, it's available everywhere. So a third of a cup of soy and a third of a cup of Chinese wine. And we're just going to cook that down along with, which I've forgotten to mention, a few slices of nice young ginger. Now, you don't need to peel it. Just throw it in like that, is fine. And cook that for about, oh, what does it say on my recipe? Ian, what does it say, what does it say, what does it say? Uh, 15 minutes, simmer for 15 minutes. Now it's very rare that I can't remember my recipes, I don't know what's going on. Now, let's talk about ribs. What I've got here is some pork belly that I've asked the, the butcher, skin, bones on, and to cut it into individual ribs and then cut it three or four across. Now, that's about the size you want. That's a bit big, I must admit. That was obviously a big rib. Now, these are basically called country ribs. Now, we, we talk about pork spare ribs all our life, but they're from a young pig. Now, country ribs are cut from the belly and from a different part of the animal. Aren't you glad I shared that with you? Anyway, we'll be back in 15 minutes. When that is ready, we'll pour it off over, over our <laughs> pork and bung that in the oven. 200 degrees, 200 degrees preheat. Good stuff. Right, now just before I forget, I must tell you about the, the ribs. What I have done is I've blanched them in boiling water for five minutes before I put them in the tray. And now we've got them in the tray and we're going to pour this liquid over. It's not a glaze yet. It, trust me, it will eventually become a glaze. I hope. So I'll just turn it over just to make sure that they are covered with the liquid or at least... Covered's not the word, is it? At least they have some of the liquid on both sides. That's what I, that's what I mean. And what's going to happen is I'm going to put them in that 200 degree oven for 30 minutes and then I'm going to add these chicken wings. Now the chicken wings over there I'll show you in a second as soon as I've finished turning this over. Do one thing at a time here. Unlike my wife who can do about 400 things at a time. I'm a, I'm a one thing at a time person. All right this is looking good come on hurry up mate I'm getting bored with this. All right I've turned them all over so they've got some of that sauce on them and into the oven as I said 200 degrees fairly high up 30 minutes and then we will add these chicken wings now the chicken wings you want to have a look what you can see there 
I've just cut the tips off. I've, you can cut them in half if you like. I don't think so. I'll tell you why. It's because I am cooking them with the ribs, which take quite a while. And if I cut them in half, the wings will be ready before the ribs, won't they? Yes, of course they will. So, 30 minutes, they go in, and then we start thinking about another 30 or so minutes until everything is glazed, tender, beautiful, wonderful. You know, all those, ex ex they're not expletives, are they? <laughs> uh, when I say them. All right, we'll be back soon. Right, hopefully our ribs are doing well. Oh, they're looking good, they're looking good, they're looking good. Look at that. Now, that's good tucker. What we now do is we throw in our wings and toss them around. Of course you could do just ribs, but I think what I love about this dish is, is actually the mixture. I think it's fabulous. The two things I most really love about snack food, wings and spare ribs. Actually, I'll tell you, the, the place that used to do the best ribs in the world was the flower drum. I don't know where they still do, but they were superb. I used to go and I used to order seconds and thirds. No, I didn't order, I didn't order thirds, but I could have. Right, now, what goes in there is a bit of good honey. And when I say good honey, there is some really fancy honeys around there. About a tablespoon or two. And to cut back on that, now I love this. As you can see, look at look, the whole bottle's almost gone. It's the black vinegar, Chinese black vinegar, which is very popular in the region we're talking about. Now, we put this in, just turn it over like we did with the ribs at the beginning, just to make sure that there's a bit of a coating. And we put it in at least for 30 minutes, but you know, you might find it takes a little bit longer because you want it crispy and crunchy and you know, all the good things. Actually, those, those ribs look crispy and crunchy already. Still 200 degrees, still in for 30 minutes, as I said, up the top. And we'll be back and see how we go. Right, we're looking good. Actually, we're looking better than good. We're looking bloody marvellous. Oh, I wish you were here, actually, to smell it. Oh, it smells absolutely wonderful. Now, I think the best idea here, can I mention it? Find some friends. Maybe you haven't got any, but if, see if you can find a few friends. Invite them over to watch the footy or something like that, or the cricket. Actually, to be honest, quite a few friends. I think it'd be really lovely to share. Just put the, the juices over the top. And then, my friends, some chilli and some spring onion. It's not terribly spicy, but of course the, the chilies will add to. So if you don't want it to blow your head off, actually, it won't even blow your head off with those chilies. Gee, that looks good, doesn't it? <laughs> it just looks like mother used to make. Right, to go with that, a nice Riesling from Mount Barker. It'll go really well. So let's just get the, rip the top off. You can add some coriander sprigs if you like, but I don't think it needs it. I think the chili and spring onion's enough. Oh, that'll be good. Yes, a really nice Riesling always goes well with, with spicy food. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy that. It's a bit of work, but it's, I suppose, really, when you think about it, it's not that much work. Basically, you get your butcher to do all the hard work with you with your ribs. And the other thing, it just takes time. That's all. Cheers. Guys, to show your support for my channel and to keep in the loop, subscribe. It's easy to do. And don't forget, it's free. Okay, okay. Cheers.